Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Juni. So, um, I hadn't uploaded in um, a few days because I actually went on holiday and I wasn't at home, so I couldn't really record. So, um, but now we're back, and um, today we're gonna be drawing a really uh, cool thing from Pirates of the Caribbean. It's called the Black Pearl. It's basically uh, the main ship of the whole. Um, a whole series of the movies and it's um the captain jack sparrow's um ship so it's the black pearl and we're going to be drawing it today so i'll see you in a second guys okay guys so now we're going to start drawing the black pearl and it's going to be really fun so um i'm going to use a sharpie marker but you could use whatever you want so um let's get started i'm really excited for this one because uh, i love pirates of the caribbean it's one of my favorite movies and um the black pearl is a really cool ship so we're gonna draw it now okay so we're gonna start basically with like the vessel like not the flags and stuff we'll do that after we finish drawing the like the vessel and the deck so we're gonna start about over here on our paper like basically at the bottom of our paper and we're gonna draw a large line coming kind of curved across okay like that okay it's kind of curvy now we're gonna draw a little line coming down from there and we're gonna curve it like this and curve up okay pretty cool okay um you can curve it a teeny bit more if you want yeah okay so now over here from this side we're also gonna draw another curve just like that one right above it and then connect it into um this before it like reaches the end and over here you can make lines between it like this okay you can make like one square next to it as well for another one yeah just like that okay now we're gonna extend this curve a little more to the side this way okay up and then we're gonna curve up like this okay okay so now we're gonna go back because it's like the captain's quarters i guess so we're going back like this okay more back actually then we're gonna get a step up like this and we're gonna go a little slanting way back okay um over here you can make a tiny bump there and there's a little lantern like a lantern here so we're gonna draw a little line coming up like that then we're gonna draw like a kind of we're drawing a line kind of diagonal then straight across and kind of diagonal and then uh, we're gonna connect it on the top and then we're gonna kind of make it like a pointed uh, top so we're gonna uh, curve a line like this up to the middle and then curve it back down so it looks like a, a pointed like uh, I guess a lamp you can color in that um, that kind of spire part and then you can make two lines between going across like that and two lines going up to the left okay pretty cool now um over here we're gonna start drawing the back of this so we're gonna start by drawing a line coming down like this okay then we're gonna draw a little line coming out like this and then we're drawing the line down again like that then we're gonna curve it a little bit over here and go even more down and then make a big curve and make a huge line going down still about over here and it kind of curves a little out on the end but yeah okay pretty cool stuff now we're gonna draw a huge straight line like across so you could use a ruler but actually today i wanted to use my ruler but i couldn't really find one so i'm just gonna use my um uh hands and i'm gonna uh, add my my marker and i'm gonna do really slowly so i'm going across like this okay a straight line now, i don't know if this is turning exactly straight but it should be okay so 
we're making the line just go really slow if you draw it fast you're gonna make a mistake if you're using a pencil then this would be much easier but since i'm not it's kind of hard okay so i'm gonna go till the end and basically you're gonna pass um till uh the where that curvy thing started over there yeah yeah cool stuff we did the bottom part okay so now we're gonna draw from a little more actually a little more and then we're gonna draw a huge curve going all the way up till there yeah pretty cool okay so we finished the deck i guess but there's more detail to it later but now we'll start with the flags and the um, sails you know so um we're gonna start Mm, there are a lot of flags let's start with just one in the front okay so over here we're gonna start with a pole so we're first gonna draw a little line coming up from over here in the front and a, a little one next to it okay now we're gonna draw from over here at the top here we're gonna draw a curved line coming down like this okay and then we're gonna draw a curved line going across that thing and um then over here we're gonna draw a little curve line going down and then curving way up like this okay this you can also curve up a little bit okay and now we're gonna connect those straight okay pretty cool i like it so over here we're gonna draw another straight line going up from uh, here we're gonna imagine it's coming through like this is overlapping the big pole okay and over here you can draw a little kind of <clears throat> rectangle there a, a very thin one going across like that and outside and um above that we're gonna draw two tiny lines coming up and then we're gonna draw uh, from about here we're gonna start by drawing uh, and actually a little below we're gonna start by drawing a little a little sail like this then it's gonna go way down then it's gonna come up then it's gonna go straight into this and kind of go down diagonally and then we're gonna curve up back to that sail okay pretty cool. so that's that sail now um, we're gonna draw on top of it a straight line uh, and actually a, you, can, you can draw a box and then we're gonna draw another thin rectangle shape over here or like a, a fat line you know and um we're gonna make a short um line coming out of that then we're gonna draw a thin line going up till about here and uh, about here and then we're gonna draw another um uh, sail so from over here we're drawing a curved line overlapping that and coming down to here then you can draw a curve like coming out of that a curved line and then you can curve it back into that and then just connect it so on this side we're gonna draw a little line coming out of it and connecting into the side like that okay and you can even do it over here we're drawing a little line connecting the side and even over here because so kind of like overlapping itself uh, that okay yeah and now over that top we're gonna draw just a straight line going up to the side and down so that's the first sail yay okay that's that that's pretty cool i like it already okay so from over here we're gonna draw um a straight line from i mean a diagonal line coming out of that till there okay and from over here we're gonna draw another diagonal line coming out and these so basically first we're gonna draw from over here a diag another diagonal line coming down like this near it and we're gonna draw one more of those and yeah that's it so over here we're gonna draw a curve like this and a curve on the other one, a curve on the other. So it's three of them. Now we're gonna keep on repeating this again and again like this. So it's going up and up and up, like three of them together. Okay? So up we go. These are some nets.
I, I guess they're there to hold the ship together. I'm not really sure what they are. Okay, so yeah. Okay, now um, we're gonna um, draw uh, the the front of the ship. So from over here, we're gonna draw a huge line coming out straight at that diagonally, and then we're gonna go a little down and then go back in. Huge like that. Okay. Now over here we're gonna uh, uh, make this a little longer over here, and then we're just gonna draw a little line up and connect and across and connect it down. Okay, and um, um, you can uh, make these lines coming a little more like um, there, and you can make more uh, boxes. This is like a fence there or something. Okay, now we're gonna draw the statue that uh, is on there. So it's basically um, like an angel holding something. So um, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's uh, I think it's a bird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bird. So we're gonna draw um, the little angel. So we're gonna start by drawing its uh, feathers. I mean, so its wings. So we're gonna draw a little line coming out. Then it's gonna connect into the ship and come out. Then we're gonna draw a curved line like this on the uh, coming out and then uh, straight back. And then we're gonna draw a, a couple of um, curvy lines. Then we're gonna draw a line coming out like this and going in like this. And then we're gonna draw a little circle for the head. Okay. Now its hand, we're gonna draw a little, um, a little uh, curvy line, a uh, curvy um, rectangle sticking out. And over here, the body is gonna be there. So we're just gonna draw um, a little kind of wing, a circle, a uh, curvy wing. And then we're gonna go a little down and draw a tail. And then you can just connect the head because we're not doing too much detail to that since it's small and it's not really shown on the ship, but it is there. Okay. So now that we did that, we can continue with the sail. So from over here, we're going to draw a huge line going down to about there. Yeah. Okay. And right next to that over there, we're going to draw another thin line like that. These are like big lines connecting all the sails. So over here, um, about here, like a little down, we're gonna draw a curved line coming out and then curve in. So this is a huge sail there, okay? Now from over here, this rectangle, we're gonna draw another two straight lines to that. So we're gonna draw one and it goes into the sail and it kind of goes behind it. So we're gonna imagine it's coming through like this. And then we're gonna do one right next to that, another line. Like that. Okay. And now there's another big seal there, so we're drawing a curve like this, and then it's gonna go right in. Okay, I'm liking it. So um, we mainly just finished the front. Now there's a little one from this, a little one again. So um, from over here, there's a huge line coming down like this and then another one right next to it and we won't completely do that one yet because there's some another sail that comes through there actually we can we can just uh, continue that whole line and it's gonna go right to the bottom of this yeah okay good so um over here we're gonna draw now the um big 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 sail in the middle Okay, so um, we're gonna start by drawing uh, about here. We're gonna draw a straight line coming up like this. And another one right next to it because it's a pole. And um, over here you can draw the rectangle, a small one. And out of that over here you can draw a little line coming out and then a huge curve like this. And then it's going back in like this and it's gonna curve in like that and then curve back like that and outside that you can draw a little spike coming up it's a seal and then out of this you can draw i guess a little line coming out like that okay 
and um now over here we're gonna draw a straight line coming up okay now there's a huge sail over here so uh we're gonna draw like about here um a little line okay like the rectangle we did earlier and um a teeny line coming out of that now we're gonna draw the huge sail so uh, we're gonna draw a big straight line then a huge sail thing coming out like a curved line then we're gonna go a teeny bit up like that and then we're gonna go across curving down and then we're gonna go curving up like that okay pretty cool i like it now um over here we're gonna draw another a box coming out a little rectangle actually coming out with that and then we're gonna draw the the spire coming out like this okay and over here you can draw another teeny rectangle and then yeah you can draw um a little line a rectangle coming out like just like that okay um now there's another shell on the top here so you can draw um a line coming across and um, then we're gonna draw a curve like this and, and it's gonna go back curving like this and we're gonna curve back into the line over there it doesn't matter that it's overlapping the line there because it's anyway the whole thing is black we're not using any other color but black and gray so um it'll be fine once we color it okay so now we're gonna draw some lines and that are kind of interconnected between both the masts so um we're gonna draw from over here we're gonna draw a straight line going from over here and it's gonna connect into that uh this sail from that sail and it's gonna go even more behind it and just connect into that rectangle shape and um now we're gonna turn a paper like this is kind of easier to draw so from over this rectangle we're gonna draw it over to that rectangle so we're gonna draw a straight line coming to this diagonal now it's gonna over uh be behind a lot of things so it's behind this guy we're gonna draw the line and just connect it into that okay now both these lines have a little uh, tiny, tiny line attached to it so we're gonna draw another tiny line just connecting to that one and on this one you can just do a little tiny line as well okay so it's like two lines right so okay now um we're gonna draw a little uh big flag over here so from this same rectangle just draw a small leg a uh, line coming out and from over here another line coming out and we're just gonna draw um a huge um curve like this and then coming a little in inwards and then from over here we're gonna just draw a straight line okay and this can connect into these nets over here yeah okay pretty cool now over here we're uh we're gonna draw a little straight line i mean a diagonal line coming out of that rectangle and we're gonna do the same pattern we did over here so we're gonna draw um three lines over here and then we're gonna draw the four curves this time because um this one has uh four instead And as you get closer, I do in a different way, so it becomes like three, then ha three and a half, then two, then one. Okay, so, um, so now we're gonna draw another one of the ma the masts, the really small mast. So um, from over over here, we're gonna draw a straight line coming up and another straight line next to it. Then you can draw a little rectangle shape and then draw a little another uh, box coming out of it and another rectangle shape next to it and then we're gonna go just up like this okay now there's a there's a the, there's a flag there so we're gonna come out like this and curve it around and then curve back in and then just connect it to the top okay and uh, you can make it a little curvy I'm just gonna overlap this and make it kind of curvy because I didn't yeah okay now it looks good and out of that you're gonna draw a teeny box coming out uh, a rectangle another teeny box coming out and uh, a very thin um uh line coming out of it okay so we finished that mast 
Now, we gotta draw these things again, the nets. So from here, we're gonna draw a line coming out. And we're just gonna draw um, two lines and then we're gonna draw the curves inside it. Okay, and um, now over here, there's a huge, huge triangular shaped um, thing um, of uh, a sail. So from over here, we're gonna draw um, one line coming into that okay that that rectangle and we'll draw another thin line next to it okay and from over here you're gonna draw a straight line going down like this and then we're gonna draw a little triangle over here a teeny one and then like a little v inside it if you can if there's space and um then over here we're gonna draw from over here a straight line coming out like this a diagonal one of course and it's going like this then you're gonna go a little down like this now we're gonna come back you can tilt your paper this way so we're gonna draw a straight line going in like this now behind these nets we're gonna draw a little line coming out and uh then you're gonna just connect both the these lines like that so it's a huge huge uh sail right there Okay, pretty cool. I'm liking the ship a lot. Now, um, we have to do some detail on the deck. So, um, we're gonna start like over here. On the, on the um, Actually, let's start over here where the cannons, like the little um, windows for the cannons are. So, from over here, we're gonna start drawing a window just like this. It's like a curve. Uh, a semicircle, a little more than a semicircle, and then just turn up, stop it with a straight line. So we're gonna draw one, two, three, and four of those coming up here. Okay, now you can in the middle of them from here make a little line, two lines actually, and then you're gonna go one, two three and four and um which uh for this line here you're gonna um for, uh, to both sides you're gonna draw a straight line going across like this and um yeah okay and uh you're gonna draw another line uh beneath that and just go all the way across like this pretty cool i like it Okay, so um, now from the bottom over here, you're gonna draw a straight line coming out like this. And then it's gonna curve like this, like a C almost, and then we're gonna go all the way across. And it doesn't have to be straight, it's kind of a wonky line. Okay, yeah, okay, I like it. So now at the back here on all the ships, there's this kind of thing that steers the ship. I don't, I don't really know what it's called. So out of it, we're gonna draw a little triangle coming out like a half triangle actually and then you can just draw some line inside it okay and um now over here we're gonna draw from over here a little line i mean a big line of course coming across and you can draw double so it's like thicker okay and um we're gonna draw two windows over there like this and um there's a, a little like line over here so we're gonna connect both of these and yeah over here there's a kind of huge window so we're just gonna draw a big square over here and yeah so we're pretty much done with the black pool but there's a little more to go so over here we're gonna draw from starting over here just a straight a curved line going all across the ship and just we're gonna stop over there so if you can see the line starts over here and it goes all the way across the little bit and then in that we're gonna draw little kind of uh, lines going down because it's like a fence okay just for that okay now um over here, uh, up here you can draw a little line coming out as well and going to the side and draw some lines for a fence over here and um yeah we're pretty much done so i'm just gonna uh look around the drawing and see if anything is left but yeah i think we should be done yeah we're done guys we're we're 
Oh wait, no, 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 we're not done yet. Sorry, we missed something. So for over here, there's a big uh, sail as well. We're gonna draw to a line coming out over here like this. And from the bottom, another line coming out of that. So there are two lines here. And then we're gonna draw a curved line like this. Now I'm gonna tilt my paper here. Over here, we're gonna draw um, a big line going like this right into the next. Over here, we're gonna curve it like this and then we're just gonna go back into this part and yeah that's another sail there so guys we finished drawing the black pearl from the pirates of the caribbean and it was really hard but we did it in the end so just a little um video for advanced um a uh, little advanced people so um if you're if you're really small and you really want to draw it you can maybe uh just draw it from the picture instead because this one this the whole tutorial is a bit confusing so even it was even confusing for me actually it was very hard to keep track of what i'm doing so um now i'm gonna go ahead and color this but and you can color in after i color it once but there's not much color just black and a little bit of gray for the statue that's all so i'm gonna start the coloring i'm gonna fast forward it so i'll see you after the coloring guys three two one go okay guys so i finished uh, coloring the black pearl and oh that took some time but look it turned out so well i'm really happy how it turned out i thought this would be like so hard and i mean i i kind of actually in the in the end start or in the middle i kind of felt like i should give up this video but in the end it actually turned out so well and i'm not joking really i really wanted to give it up but it looks so good so i just kind of do it on and um it turned out really good so i hope you guys enjoyed now here you can pause the video to do the coloring there's not much it's just black but it takes time so do it carefully and i decided to do the windows gray and i added some more detail to that window over there and i did some highlighting of uh, some real details on the ship so that you can see it because it's all black actually um but in this actual ship but in that you can at least see them because it's made of wood but this is just coloring so you wouldn't be able to see it if unless i did this highlighting with white so um not with white actually just left white spaces and made them smoother so yeah look for this i hope you guys enjoyed now um if you're done coloring you can subscribe to the channel if you aren't already give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and uh, check out my other video. The latest one before this was the bad guys. If you didn't notice, like you can you can go back into the introduction and see that instead of the lion on my um, cupboard, where um, I, of course I do my uh, recording the introduction, um, uh, instead of the lion, there's the bad guys because I really liked how this guy turned out. And, and that guy turned out and this guy maybe maybe has a deserved a chance to go up on that wall but i'm not sure maybe someday or maybe to, maybe till the next episode so um hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you later guys and oh yeah you can get paper chase markers um they're, they're really cool i had to I, I didn't even get them from the place i'm staying there kind of abroad i don't remember where i got them from but yeah i got them from somewhere and um okay you should also get sharpie markers they're really cool and i hope you enjoyed i'll see you second and you can compare your drawing with the actual black pearl if you want and add some more detail that it actually has there are some more details you can do more interior drawing as well you can like instead of making this like uh, uh the vessel the outside you can like make the inside and the rooms and the on the lower deck and stuff and the little uh, little corners and barrels and stuff but yeah we did the outside so i hope you can enjoy it see you later guys i'm sorry i keep on saying that again and again and then i repeat but this is a goodbye for um real so hope you can enjoy bye see you next time